Rio, we're well into the dry season now and we will be seeing lots more sunny days as we head through the next couple of months. So two things you should be walking with every day with you would be water and sunscreen. Staying hydrated is a must, especially when those temperatures get quite warm. But something you should be applying every day is sunscreen to protect yourself from the harmful UV rays even when we have clouds present. For those looking for any anti-aging creams or lotions, sunscreen is your best friend. Now, taking a look at what's going on across the Atlantic, we have an upper level trough that's causing some clouds to move off the uh, South American coast into the Atlantic Ocean and it's drifting across Trinidad and Tobago. So taking a closer look at that, we're seeing these clouds move towards the country, but not a lot of shower activity, all of that remaining to our east. And it's going to remain there for the next couple of days. We may see one or two brisk showers move towards southern and eastern parts of Trinidad over the next 24 to 48 hours. Now looking at the forecast for us here in Trinidad, a generally cool and partly cloudy night across most of the country. We could see one or two brisk showers favoring southeastern parts of Trinidad overnight, but no significant rainfall is expected and similar conditions are forecast tomorrow like what we saw today. Partly cloudy conditions, you will still see some sunshine mixed in, but temperatures relatively cool. Uh, just crossing that 30 degree mark in Tobago, a bit warmer in Trinidad, could get up to 33 degrees across Port of Spain, 32 in San Fernando. You see those warmer temperatures in urbanized areas, and we could see one or two brisk showers move across the country as well. Now for marine interests, we have some long period swells affecting on northern and eastern coastlines. So for small craft operators, and even if you're heading to the beach, Follow the advice of lifeguards and just exercise some caution because those swells are high energy waves that will be causing some larger waves in near shore areas, bays and beaches. Now in open waters, seas are moderate with waves up to 2.5 meters in sheltered areas below one meter but choppy because we have some long period swells affecting the area as well as some increased winds. Now what to expect as we head through the day tomorrow, a partly cloudy to variably cloudy day. Those temperatures, quite seasonal for this time of year, Lows in the low 20s for both Trinidad and Tobago in the morning, getting up to a high of around 31 in Trinidad, 30 in Tobago. And we're ending the day with a temperature of around 25 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, so quite seasonal for this time of year. Back to you, Rio.